Rachel. So it is Wednesday, the 13th, 14th of December. I think it's the 14th. I don't know. Um, but it is Wednesday and I've taken today off from work. I've used one of my vacation days just to have a day to run an errand and then we go shopping so since I'm not working that means I can take up my camera with me since I'm going in public I'm going to force myself to embarrass myself get out of my comfort zone film in public so it is seven o'clock right now I'm going to run to the train I have um, an errand that I have to run at O'Hare Airport and then after that I think I'm gonna go to there are these like outlet malls in Rosemont I've only ever been once before and it was um, right before I went to go see Jessica just got on YouTube I will link up above the video where I saw her compete and while we were killing time my friend Sarah and I went to the outlet mall so I haven't been there since like April so I'm gonna go I'll take you guys with me there's gonna be some gym time that's it that's all I got for today so I will see you in the next clip It's Rachel. I'm at O'Hare. I'm waiting for the shuttle, or what's this called? Like the mini train to take me to Terminal 5. And I have my Starbucks. This is a gingerbread latte with almond milk. So I'm super pumped that they're starting to serve almond milk. So I've been getting that. It's all right. Hey, so I'm at O'Hare. I've already finished my errands and I have an hour just to kill until the mall opens. I think I said I was gonna go to the mall, but look what I found. So I thought I would show you guys. They have a bunch of treats. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later. I got home and immediately crashed. Um, I, if, okay. So if you have fibromyalgia, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you use too many spoons or like you push too hard, your body just like crabs out. Thankfully, I don't suffer from that ever since changing my diet, but and I don't know if this is like mini fibro or if this is just because I'm 31, um, but just w straight up walking from whatever eight this morning when I left to go run my errands until I left the mall at like 3 p.m. And I don't think I sat down. I think I sat down at lunch and that was it. Um, but it just like takes so much out of my body and so I, I crawled into bed and I definitely took like a half an hour nap. And then that half an hour nap turned into me watching YouTube for a while. And now it's six o'clock and it's time to go to the gym, whatever. Um, so yeah, I wanted to pick up the camera because I feel like I haven't filmed a ton, but I thought that I would show you guys what I bought. So. The places that I went to were the limited, where I get um, 
Wow, I get a lot of my office clothes from the limited. I find that sometimes it's kind of, I don't know, like you have to dig because sometimes you'll get these really nice pieces for cheap and other times the fabric and the stitching is just crap. Um, so, I don't know, but I went to the limited and I bought some things and then I showed you guys. I found the Lululemon outlet. Turns out there is a Lululemon outlet in the Rosemont outlet mall. I was super pumped. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what that would be, whenever Lululemon has like overstock of stuff that's on sale and it's just not moving, they send it to the outlet. The downside was a lot of the sizes were like tens. So if you were a size 10 Lululemon and you live in Chicago, go to the Rosemont Mall because they have so many, like everything in size 10. I am I'm like a size six or an eight in Lululemon. I tried on the eights and they were a little big. So I ended up not buying any, but I did buy two shirts in fours. And uh, I'm wearing one now because I got excited. So this is the shirt that I bought. That's just a sports bra. It's pretty cool. But I, I don't know, like I love these kind of flowier tops. I don't really like having tight tops. I know that's like the thing now to wear these tight tops and I, I don't like it. Um, so yeah, let me show you. So this is the Cardio Squad Tank Number 2. So, yep, so it's $34, but there was a 40% off of tank tops because it's like negative two outside. So I think I paid whatever 40% 40 40 off of 34 is. And then, does anybody else do this with packages? Just me? I gotta put all this stuff away. And then this is the second top that I bought also on a size four, and this one is the Wild and Free Tank. So, slim fit, same price. Apparently I have a thing for blue. You're not in focus. And then this is the sweater that I got from the Limited. It has one of those like fake undershirts, but I think I paid, oh, it's an extra small, and I paid $12 for this. Also, the Limited is a great place for jewelry. Uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks for these and they look really pretty. So yeah, the Limited and also the Loft is where I get a lot of my jewelry from. And then I stepped by David's Tea. Not gonna show you what's in here because this is actually a Secret Santa gift. So there's that, I bought that. And then I got an order from bodybuilding.com because I had some store credit that I really wanted to use. It had been there for a really long time. I am slowly transitioning to use Slap Nutrition. Um, so I didn't really want to buy supplements from bodybuilding.com. So instead, I bought this tank top. How cute is this? Although, does anybody else think that this font looks a lot like the font Yami uses in her Lift and Be Lifted stuff? Yeah, anyway, I was like, hey man, they copied Yami but I really love this shirt. It was kind of expensive. It was $17, but it's so soft. And I got this in a small, yeah, small. So that is my little impromptu haul. I am gonna run to the gym. It's right in the middle of rush hour. I took the whole day off. I was free all day. What did I do? I napped. So now I'm going when it's busy, but that's okay. Today I'm kind of excited. I am going to be working glutes and I just watched a YouTube video with Courtney King. If I can find the video I will link it down below in case you guys don't know Courtney King won the Mr. Olympia bikini this year 2016 and she kind of makes YouTube videos. I She only has like 11 but they were a couple I have to see if I can find it. It's not on her channel, it's on somebody else's channel where she had some fun glute exercises that I've never seen before. So I'm gonna play around at the gym. I'm gonna try them. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
I'll see you in the next clip. I am gonna cook dinner, and I know you guys keep saying that you love it when I show you my dinners, so I'll show you what I'm gonna make tonight when I get back. Let's go. Hey, so I'm back from the gym. Right now, I'm in the middle of cooking dinner because I'm starving, and I am doing something more complicated than I normally do, but let's get real. It's not that complicated because I don't like complicated meals. So let me show you what I'm making. So first off, that is a dirty pan because I just made grass-fed ground beef and I put this tahini stuff. I'm obsessed. This is amazing. Go buy this. But the reason I did not clean out that pan yet is I am going to make paleo fried rice. Let me explain. So rice isn't paleo. It is gluten-free though. So I do have a rice cooker and I eat white rice, I eat brown rice, I digest them. It's not a big deal. But if you're paleo or you're trying to stay lower carb, cauliflower rice is huge. And I remember reading about cauliflower rice when I first started eating paleo I don't know, four years ago, five years ago, which, P.S., um, I used to eat paleo. That was how I discovered the whole like gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free thing. And then I've slowly incorporated things like corn and rice and beans and stuff like that because my body is fine with them. But back to the topic at hand. So. Cauliflower rice, when I first started making this, I would actually buy this giant head of cauliflower and I found a food processor and I would food process the cauliflower. And if you've ever done that before, it gets everywhere. Like this was back when I was blogging at painfreekitchen.com, which I should get back to that. But I would write blog posts about how I would get cauliflower everywhere. So Costco sells these pre-riced cauliflower and it's seriously a lifesaver. So rather than use like uh, the coconut spray, I'm just going to use the fat that's left over from cooking my ground beef as my fats. And then this is how it's going to get special. So you know me, I like to keep it real simple, but while the ground beef was cooking, I chopped up, um, that's like half an onion, an orange bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and garlic. So I think it's like three cloves or something. So I'm gonna put the, the peppers and the onions, actually maybe I'll just put all of them in. I'm gonna put all of these in, and I'm gonna let these cook. These are gonna get soft. These are gonna start turning brown. That's gonna start turning brown. And then I'm going to add the cauliflower. And then I think what I'm going to do is I have these coconut aminos. This is a substitute for soy sauce. So if you um, can't eat soy or if you can't eat gluten, because by the way, soy sauce is mostly wheat. Um, coconut aminos is a really great substitute. You can find it at Whole Foods. I feel like that's Whole Foods and I think some online places sell it. But this is their garlic version. So I am going to put a little of this on it. You can see, so it's just coconut sap, garlic, sea salt, ginger, cayenne pepper. And then I think I'm gonna put a little of this red boat fish sauce. I haven't used this in a really long time. Um, and Jake was using this the other day. And I was like, oh, I forgot we even had that. So I think I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I heard a noise. It was weird, it was like something fell. All right, so I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see if they're softer, um, but I wanted to kind of show you what they would look like once they were cooked. So they're definitely soft, they're kind of lost color. So I'm going to dump the cauliflower rice into this now. And this is my dinner. 
So I didn't weigh it out and I should have because this looks like way too much meat, but that's okay. So this is the cauliflower rice. Um, I think I put, obviously I didn't measure because I'm lazy like that, but I think I put too much fish sauce in it. Um, it's just a little more wet than fried, but that's okay. So I think I'm actually gonna end the video here. It is, it's 8.30 and I wanna edit this so that I can post it tomorrow and eat dinner and relax and whatnot. So I'm just gonna end it here. I did wanna tell you about this awesome glute workout that I did today, but I'm gonna save that for another day and hopefully, uh, I wish I had somebody, maybe I can like bribe Jake to come with me to the gym and film for me because I really wanna show you guys uh, some new things that I've incorporated into my glute day that really like them. So that's it. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. The more you guys give my videos thumbs ups, the more they show up in search results and things like that. And yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a question to ask you guys, but talk to me in the comments. Seriously, your comments make my day because otherwise I'm just talking to a camera. So there's that. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow, I think. Bye. Hey, it's Rachel. It's Sunday. It is 2 p.m. I am still in my pajamas. This is what I looked like when I woke up this morning. But I actually woke up at 9.30 because since 9.30 until 2 p.m. now, I've been working on my final paper.